Hello, beta testers. What is this? Who is this? Who is this, Dia? <laughs> Dia, who is this? Why are you laughing? Who is this? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. What is who this? is this? Who I is don't this? Know. I don't know. Yeah, tell me who this is. You tell me who this is. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> who is this? Who? Dia? 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 Poison Ivy. <laughs> Why is Poison Ivy a fucked up elf? What the fuck they do to Ivy? What happened to Rocksteady Man? No wonder Sefton Hill, the game director of the Arkham Trilogy, left during the creation of this. Sushi Squad Games plot, if real, is legitimately like Marvel's ultimatum levels of terrible. Makes Gotham Knights sound like a masterpiece. Sending off the greatest Batman in a mid-life service game that won't have support in a year. Arkham Knight came out almost nine years ago now and it's crazy how much worse this looks, both in art direction and graphics. Rocksteady is legit washed. I just saw those Sushi Squad leaks. Rocksteady, y'all need to cancel this game right now before y'all feel the backlash on launch. This game is not for the fans. This leaking right before people go home for Christmas is going to cause some Rocksteady employee to sit in their running car in the garage. They the one made it. Rocksteady, what are you doing? How Rocksteady felt after making a game that shits all over their nearly perfect Batman trilogy while also making it a live service and having unique characters all use guns instead of their iconic weapons. Boomerang? I think you mean gun. Say hello to my little friend. Huh? Like in that 40 year old movie? Just saw the Sushi Squad game and it literally did the one thing, the one fucking thing I didn't want to happen. What a spit in the face, man. Oh yeah, that's the way sweet baby likes it. Being the last time we get Kevin Conroy as Batman and it includes one of the absolute worst stories for the character, it's such a massive disservice. Like holy shit, they could not have made it worse even if they tried. I don't care that we have to kill the Justice League in a game called Kill the Justice League because that's the best defense that the shills can come up with. But Arkham Knight's ending was so perfect, this is ruining it. Batman should not have been included at all in the game. Ah, but the game would never have done well without characters like Batman attached to it. And even when given Harley Quinn. They can't help but ESG design the titties right off a feminine chest, with designs effortlessly inferior to decade-old iterations. Yet you want microtransaction money? The feminine writers can't even help themselves and have to insert scenes where she's looking at her old outfits and responding in a negative manner as if to scoff off this relic of the past of a bygone era, the male gaze. The male wallets closed to you, our gaze averted. Sweet baby, sweet baby, we see you as you wish to be seen in collaboration. Oh, good. Now we know what to avoid. Now we know what to avoid. Like, subscribe, and comment below because the same way that liking and commenting pushed videos up to inform people and make ESG a bad word, you're helping make sweet baby a bad word in gaming, and they're so proud that they're actually slapping their logo on front of things now? Hilarious. Even though Take-Two was smart enough to request their affiliation be hidden. Absolutely 
hilarious, honestly. There are many fatter, lonelier Rachel Zegler types working on these projects, and they are well aware that they cannot make anything on their own that would draw any attention, because they lack talent. So they attach themselves to these properties that people love, but that they hate. So they self-insert and reduce the characters around them, deconstruct and downgrade them, give them that sweet baby treatment to help the dog shit stories be tame enough for your youth group pastor to appreciate. Normie, forespoken, instantly turn a zoomer into a bully level writing. Just kids bike riding life is strange musical song and dance routine in a mature game where the women specifically must have flat asses flat chests no jiggle because hypocrisy because there's some triggered lady on the project here this game basically makes itself uglier every time something comes out about it people love live services when Love, attention, passion is poured into this to craft a fun experience. You know, fun goes better with the games, fun and games. But those experiences cater and endeavor to satisfy fans with service. It's right in the name, live service. But the dyed-haired identity politics hypocrite activists calling themselves games developers and journalists, they, them, know only favoritism and can only inject thinly disguised division and hatred because of the intolerance seeded so deep that even real racists are impressed. But according to them, we're the racists because any disagreement is bigotry, criticism is hate, factual statements are harassment, we could hold up a mirror and we'd just be some kind of asshole, we could show them the video, the, the recording of what they've done, but we're the bastard. Their best shot is not even to respond and hope to silence us. And they know, but they insanely have their hand out expecting money. That's my purse. I don't know you. I'm a gamer at heart, so I know that even with this fart knocking cancer that ironically gets to live and metastasize in these studios that uh, the race police have come and ruined by demanding that the staff look like a deceptive college brochure, even with ladies and wannabe ladies desperately downgrading women in the games as a service slop that you're serving up that's inferior to destiny that came out a whopping decade ago, if the game had game play, if that game was gaming, none of it would matter. But I know that you can't manage it. Your, 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 your heart is in another place. Your mind is corrupt. So, I know for a fact that free experiences like Fortnite offer a more fluid experience that won't demand the player's time so severely with fear of missing out and grind expectations that'll pressure and incentivize players to spend, 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 to skip, for advantage. And even if they do, those are free experiences. I quickly have to voice. One of my favorite parts of every stale, tame game coming out and failing is watching them try to course correct and crank sex appeal entirely too late with some bathing suit skins or some nice panties, but the character models have already fucked that up. That's chiseled in stone now. You decided against jiggle physics. You made them butch with masculine jaw and flat chest. My... My god, even the NRFB dweeb collectors don't want what you're serving up. Good luck making money. Even die-hard fans willing to ignore that New Rocksteady clearly isn't the studio it was a decade ago are now being convinced that this is something to wait for Game Pass or 
to just grab from the landfill that they'll be dumping the copies in because you got normie developers like Naughty Dog a promising a mode that they then cancel but also saying stuff like guys we would have had to become like a live service studio and live services suck guys whoa they're just like us doesn't naughty dog still have the heavyweight belt of woke for their subversive last of us 2 even spider cuck 2 couldn't out woke or out piss off its fans and rocksteady it, i have no words if the word's out this early, won't that mean it's like a double disaster? The type you were trying to run from with that delay following the backlash at the state of play? The delay that followed the second delay, of course. Community managers and main accounts blocking critical people like Kyle. What have you done? I believe the fact of the matter is they couldn't manage what Destiny offered in 2014. That's 10 years ago. Even if they could, obviously today, that wouldn't cut it. They're obsessed with injecting agenda, compromising the overall quality of the product. They're ignorant and refuse to look across the industry, not just for the do's, but specifically for the don'ts. And this is effortlessly the worst aspect of an up their ass studio that believes that they have time to produce 20 minute multi-part episodes for a fucking series when what you should be doing is getting your balls in the motherfucking game to make damn sure that this doesn't come out and be anything that people can mock and have be and i told you so it's a repeat of marvel's avengers so either convince everybody that you want this to fail and you're trying to get it to fail by giving these fucking weirdos the power to write this stuff, man. <laughs> More of this CW shit. <laughs> Situate. I, hey, man. Look. Reductions. The regression. Uh, this, this Harley Quinn was... She's one of the most popular cosplay costumes for girls in the world but we need another androgynous esg flat chested women to join the modern gaming dumpster listen any booth babes listening to this be a booth babe for the kyle channel man we really need to just take things back here it's easy to avoid this stuff because they're so proud of whatever it is that they're doing so i love you and i can't say too much but if you look up the leaks all you need to understand is it gets way worse and all of this got the green light that's the juiciest part to me you understand that like uh i was asking questions with the word oversight in them a lot yesterday you know what i mean the the batgirl movie after those screen tests did not get out, okay? Beta tester, people were paid to shut the fuck up about this trans fucking Batgirl movie. And I, it must have been so, what, what to them is brand damaging? If the stuff that we keep seeing is just like, wow. <laughs> Look, man. I, uh, I love you. I gotta watch my mouth with this stuff. I think my laughing alone is like pissing people off on this stuff. I'm starting to get into people's minds, dude. I don't want to do that. This isn't about me or you. This is about what the fuck they, this is Batman, dude. This is holy shit. <laughs>